Hi everybody, welcome back to Sean's World. Now in today's video, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm gonna take a day off from work today and uh, spend the day with Sam. And we're gonna go and do some shopping, so you're welcome to come along. We've got just over an hour's drive to the first one. Um, it's a regular one that I go to. And I've also found another one on route, so not been to that one, so that'll be interesting. Just wait for Sam to come out and we'll be on our way. Here she is everybody, <laughs> I think you'll agree it's well worth the wait. <laughs> Look, I've laid on a rainbow for you. Oh, look at that. Isn't it beautiful? Lovely. Right, so we get going? Yep, yeah, let's get on the road. Let's hope there's some uh, pots of gold at the end of it for us. Yeah. <laughs> Here. We are. Yeah, I'm getting excited. Not been to a Brocont for quite a few months now, since before Christmas, so. This is the first time I've been to this one as well. Yeah, let's go have a look around. Beautiful place. I'm sure I'll find something here. loaded the car up with all of our goodies. It was a real treat to go in there. It was, uh, yeah, it was really good. Um, Spent quite a lot of money. Yeah, like you do, but <laughs> quality. You have to pay for quality. You certainly do. So we're finished in that shop. We're off to the next Brocont now. We'll see you there. sure if we can film in this uh, Brocont so we'll ask if not you just have to see what we got once we come out so I've just asked permission if we can film in here and they said yes which is very kind of them it's a great shop I've got me on something and I think I'm gonna go and buy it It still amazes me how you can get such quality and craftsmanship for such a little money, 20 euros for beautiful decanter, cut glass, crystal, that's a lovely colour, look at that, ruby, 30 euros, 
Amazing. Another beautiful one for 20. Still grab a bargain. You found anything? Lots of interesting things. Just spotted a beautiful one more. Really lovely condition. Quite a good size. Not sure how much that one is. But yeah, very interesting new find for me, this Brookend. I shall be back. And I've just bought something, so <laughs> I'm a happy boy. Interesting detailing. Little love heart, how sweet. What a lovely cabinet. Piece. Not sure of its age. Two hundred and twenty. Spelter, I think. See what Sam's up to. Ah, monsieur, excuse-moi, si, uh, si possible, uh, dispose ça, si dommage ici. Allez, 10, peut-être. Merci. day sun's out right let's just clear an area where we can put the stuff down um, so we've got quite a lot of things in the wrong place at the moment we're uh, halfway through doing a, a massive big tidy up but until then we'll have to make do eh? right let's put all the stuff on the table so should I get my things out first yeah get it all Get it all out and we'll put it on the table. Let's have a look what you got. Oh. oh, that wind is fresh. So, I got a large Hollywood font. It's pretty. Oh, what are you doing buying a copper? Dirty armorial plate. That's well, nice, that's not that. not really the sort of thing you, you normally buy. I don't know, that's quite nice. That's nice. Lovely little watering can for yeah. watering pot plants. Brass. Yeah, no holes in it. That's good. No, there's no holes in my bucket. <laughs> or my watering can. What else you got? Oh, I've got a lovely 
Quasone nice. enamel and green onyx. The work that goes into these is amazing. Cross with a little holy water front on the bottom. Very nice. I look at the back, what's on the back? It's got like a brass plate on the back and the maker. Yeah. That's dating from probably the 1950s. Yeah, that's nice. That's that. Nice. Will go with some other bits, so it's a nice little enamel. Tensils, yeah, it's getting hard to find this enamel ware now. It used to be quite commonplace, but harder and harder as with most vintage and antique items now. Oh, that is lovely. That's my favourite piece, and it's that beautiful. was quite expensive, but it's absolutely yes. really heavy. Be careful, it's, yeah, it's a nice it's, bit of weight to it. Bronze, bronze all blue. It's a lovely angel, yeah. Um, again. It could be used as a holy water font. I think that's probably what it was designed for. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's got like the a shells there. Big but shell in the isn't front. She exquisite. Beautiful. And weighs quite a lot for the size. Yeah. Very detailed. Lovely, that. Mm. And that's probably 140 years old. Yeah. So is that your best buy today? That's my star buy. Star, star buy. buy. Mm, yeah, but I'm nice. pleased with everything I've got. I've yeah, got some really good yeah. bits. So, yeah. You have. What else you got in the bag? Anything else? Um, no, no. There's a, there's a couple of little scrappy little, little bits that I've got to do a bit of yourself. research on, but yeah, they're they're not really. This okay. Is, this is, the thing this is your haul. Right. Yeah. Let's see how it compares with mine. Okay. So let's see what I've got now. I kind of, kind of like copper and bronze and things like that. So let's, let's take a look. That's a curtain pole. Just put that down there. Let's see what I've got in the boot. Now that is what you call a pizza paddle. Yeah, well, people use them for pizzas and bread. So yeah, that's good. Right, let's put this over there. Right, let's give you a hand with this because this is heavy, this big one. All right, go and pop that on the table, get the heaviest piece. Let's get this boot fixed. It keeps coming down on my head. Right, if you can hold the, the boot up, I'll get that, that's right. Well, it is heavy. Yeah, it's heavy. Right, let's sit this down somewhere. So that's your haul. Yeah, mine looks more like a scrapyard than yours. <laughs> well, no, mine needs a lot of cleaning. So does mine. Yeah, well, lots of cleaning. This is, but this is it, you know. underneath all this grime and, yeah. and sawdust, sawdust, muck, dust is real quality and stunning items, and that is part of the beauty of what we do. Um, for those that are new to the channel and have just subscribed and tuned in, me and Sam have got our own independent Etsy shops. Sam does her thing, I do my thing. Now in my shop you'll come across lots of antiques, vintage items as well. Majority of my things are copper, copper cookware, artisan handmade stuff. Hmm. Now your Etsy shop is more vintage. Yeah, vintage and antique things for the home. Some religious things. Some religious items, yes. But and all uh, typically French. Yeah. Beautiful quality, handmade things, you know, stuff that you just can't buy now. So getting harder and harder to find. Yeah, as we're well. we're finding it quite difficult to to find, you know, things that were commonplace a few years ago. Mm. So yeah, it's a bit of a challenge, but we enjoy that side of it. Um so yeah, if you want to check out our shops, um, I get my daughter who does the ed editing. It's getting cold, I can't speak. <laughs> we need a nice hot chocolate, sit by the fire in a minute. Mm. We'll get our daughter to put in the links to our shops. Yes. Um, I've recorded that because I might forget. So once she's editing it, she'll remember. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, Jasmine will put the, the uh, links in the, the description links in below. For us. Thank you. Yeah, that's all right. Right, we'll have a scout around and... Uh, yeah, we're excited well, to see it. Yeah, we'll be cleaning these things up over the weekend, so uh, we'll show you some of them once they've been cleaned up as well yeah, on the video, yeah. and, and you can see um, the, the before, and, the before after. and after, yeah, the yeah. difference. 
quite a transformation. So we've got some work ahead of us. Yeah, <laughs> pull my finger out. Just here you got a beautiful handmade joint on the pot. Real good quality. Same with this one. Look at that seam on the back of there. Yeah, it's nice quality. I mean, this has been used as a planter, but originally there would have sat uh, a reservoir above just here, and with two taps on the bottom, they would have filled the reservoir, which was copper lined up with water. And this was kind of like a basin underneath to catch the. It was. It was when in the days when people just had a pump in the garden. Yeah, they'd bring it in with a pail. Taps to the house. They'd collect it in a bucket, fill up the. Lavabo, Lavabo, that's which it. Which is the, the part Top that goes reservoir. on the wall. It's got a lid on it and little taps. And then when they wanted water either to drink or for a wash, they could open the taps and it could go into this basin. Yeah, I've actually got the top section of another one of these. Mm. I might get out and show everybody how the setup would have been. But yeah, obviously it's not going to be used as a, a basin now. No, that it looks makes a great with lovely, planters, yeah. Planter. We've got one indoors like that, I think. We exactly have. the same as that with plants in. We have, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, I must just show you the quality of this bronze pole. I don't know whether the camera will do it justice, but it's got all leaf decoration on it, and I see it, and I thought, I've just got to, got to have that, got to own it, even for a little while. It's got artichoke finials on the end. Yep. Yeah. But it's beautiful. This might make the Etsy shop, it might not. <laughs> Sometimes I like to own these for a little while, but that will clean up fabulous. It's bronze. Yeah, so that was a again. yeah, that was a real find. I've never seen one like that before. That was great. So yeah. Quite a nice haul. We had a nice day out. We went for some lunch as well. We did. Beautiful restaurant. Very nice. So yeah, all in all, it was a good day out. First one of the year, we hadn't been out for quite some time, had we? No, things go a bit quiet in the winter, don't they? Yeah, so. things slow down, but uh, we're getting back in the swing of things now. Right, let's get me cleaning stuff out. Let's get polishing. Me and Sam are going to spend the next week cleaning up these lovely items, and we'll share those items with you next week in another video. And don't forget, mine and Sam's Etsy shop will be in the link in the description. So if you're interested, just want to have a browse, head on over to there and have a browse for our Etsy shops. So the big clean has finally started here. I'm getting organized, I'm getting everything in the right shed or barn if you like. All the tools in the right place. The trouble is when you're doing so many different trades, plumbing, carpentry, bricklaying, landscaping, you do acquire quite a few tools. Sam's always saying, why do you want that tool? Well, it's because I do so many different trades, so I do need them, but I need to organise them. Anyway, that's started now, so that's going to help me immensely. And in the upcoming videos, I will be starting some renovation work. So maybe some in the garden, some in some buildings. Uh, there's a few priority jobs that I need to attend to. I've got some major structural work to do in one of the roofs. It's being held up with acros at the moment, so... Yeah, in the next few videos, I shall get started on that. Hope you enjoyed the content. I like to mix it up a little bit, a little bit of um, basically what I do. I do antique buying, I work for, for other people, and I do a bit here for myself. So, yeah, a little bit for everyone. Oh, the sun's come out. They're beautiful. Right, see you in the next video. Bye for now.